Tell you what, the last two years has been massive for Australian literature. Craig Sylvie's Honeybee, Hannah Kent's Devotion, Claire Thomas's The Performance, and if I can indulge in an old Australian pastime of laying claim to any Kiwi who is remotely successful, Sorrow and Bliss by Meg Mason has really done well lately. But this is the biggest book of the lot. This one is coming out and it's going to be huge. On the 4th of August, Diana Reed's novel Love and Virtue will get its international release. And I guarantee you that this book will be everywhere. Diana Reed is young. She's writing about young women and their relationships. She's incredibly talented. She's the next. Don't say it. But I, I don't need to. Why not? The new Sally Rooney, your certain novel by page one, Meg Mason. <sighs> She's such a Kiwi. Whenever I say I was at university with Eve, people ask me what she was like. Skeptical, perhaps, that she could have always been as whole and self-assured as she now appears. To which I say something like, people are infinitely complex. But I say it in such a way, so pregnant with misanthropy, that it's obvious I hate her. This relationship between Michaela and Eve that is central to this plot is tainted from page one with that quote. You know that these two girls don't like each other by the end of this book, but you don't know what happens. You don't know how, but you do also know that Michaela's had a weird sexual experience at the start of this book. This book takes place on a university campus and a lot of what is going on is sex. It's what teenagers do, but with this sex comes power and control, but also consent and rape and when is it not okay? While this novel has been compared to Sally Rooney, I find it very weird that it hasn't been compared to My Dark Vanessa yet. Michaela's pursuit of her English professor is problematic but it's somehow normal in comparison to what is going on at these campuses and these parties. It is the lack of awareness that the men have that they've crossed the line in this book is so breathtakingly horrifying. None of these men think that they're doing something wrong, but they're doing something wrong. And to an extent, that statement that statement can apply to the relationship between Michaela and Eve as well. This story really revolves around two things. Michaela being raped and Michaela's pursuit of her English professor and how Eve responds to them and whether Eve is a supportive friend. And Michaela's response to them is not, she's not angry, but Eve is angry. Michaela doesn't really want to explore these things that are happening. She doesn't want to report her rape to the police. She doesn't want to disclose to people that she's in a relationship with her professor. But Eve damn well thinks she should. And despite all this heavy stuff happening, this is where the tension is created. The characters in this are vivid. I think that Michaela being such a passive character is really wonderfully drawn. It's much harder to write a passive character than it is a character who is loud. Michaela is often not very conscious of her emotions, yet you kind of really understand her. This story is told from the first person perspective of Michaela. So you don't see what Eve's thinking. You don't know what Eve knows, but yet you know who Eve is. I think Bartholomew as well well drawn. I think Sackers is well drawn. I think the English professor is well done. I think the mother is well done. I think that this is an excellent character focused novel. Set in Sydney in a prestigious university in these halls of residence, it does have a very O week feel to it. Everybody here is quite rich and this sort of private school O-week feel that Diana Reed has added to it 
adds the added layer of class to all of these discussions. Not just class, the very fact that Michaela is from Canberra and commuting alienates her, but brings Canberra into it. It it points out that that these men that Michaela is socialising with, they're going to be working in Canberra. They're going to be in government. That is a terrifying, terrifying, that is a terrifying layer to include. The writing of this is fantastic, but what I really like about the writing is that these themes are so hard hitting and Diana Reed's really smacking you hard. You can't fail to miss what she is saying, but she's not just hitting you hard with themes. There is so much little subtle things going on in this book. One of these things will be, this whole book is written from Michaela's perspective. But what if it was written from Eve's? How different would it be with a flip of perspective? And what does that say? What does it say about feminism in this book? Let's ignore the rape. What does it say about pick me's and feminists? I think that there's so many, so many themes. There's so much intersectionality between the themes in this book that there is endless discussion and endless diving into this book that you can do. Obviously, I am telling you how much I love this book. And obviously, this is a five-star book. Highly recommend you put this one on pre-order. Or if you're in Australia and you've got the ability to get it before the internationals get it, then go out there and get it. It's, it's like it's in Big W, guys. Come on. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've read the book, let me know what you thought of it in the comments section. And remember to subscribe for more great bookish content. Oh! <laughs>